That's some ASMR for you right there. God damn it! Hello, I am Bobby Bigelow, formerly from the show Bobby Bigelow's Vegan Wilderness, but then it got canceled. So now I'm here to tell you guys about something that I find quite interesting. If you have spent any time on Insta, Twitter, Gramify, any of those social mushkadoo sites, you have maybe noticed that there's this trend going around, ice eating. People call it ASMR in other words. People just eat ice. And I thought to myself, Bobby, how could you recreate that in the beautiful vegan wilderness? And that's why I'm here today to tell you, yes, you viewer, on how you can make some delicious ice to eat for your gramified Twitter videos in the vegan wilderness. Now, let's start with step number one. You can't just dive into icy water to get yourself some ice. What you're gonna need is a stick, and not just any old stick. You think this'll do in the vegan wilderness? I don't think so. We gotta scrounge around for a stick. Whoa, look at this big bedonker honker. This will do perfectly for harvesting some clean, pristine ice. And now that we've got a stick, we're gonna get some ice. Follow me, Jerry. Here we go, look at this drift. This ice drift right there. That's the money shot. Let's bring that over here. Sauce that my way. We're just gonna dive right in. Oh, delicious. Would you look at that? Pristine, clean. As you can see, we found some more ice. See, this, is, this even looks better than the last. Oh my goodness. Sweet Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Look at the holes and the texture of that ice. We're just gonna take a bite. It's got that chip-like texture. Absolutely delicious. I love it. It's truly scrumptious if I do say so myself. Let's go find some more. Let's find some thick ice. The last stuff was the, the texture of a potato chip. Oh, would you look at that? like fine drippings in the lake of life. We're going a little bit off road for this one. In life, the best ice ain't gonna find you. You have to find it. Would you look at that? It seems we found ourselves some chocolates. These are like some C's candies, delectable. Look at them. They're little niblets in their own right. Beautiful, you mush them up. You mush them up, make sure they're nice and tender. You know, look at the look at the diet of this moose. Look what he was eating. It's nice and mushy, got some grass in there. Looks like maybe an iPod Nano, I don't know, delicious. And here we are on the beaches of Normandy. This was in fact where World War IV was fought. <laughs> I don't feel good. Look at this, this is just untouched. No human has ever touched this ice before. This ash is just for me to touch and me to touch on. Look at that. As the stick of truth rubs along the ice precipice, it just does not falter. It does not break. Get a, get a close-up shot of this one, Jerry. That's some ASMR for you right there. Get a slap on there. You see how it doesn't falter? That means it's good ice. That means we're going for this chunk right here. Now, you must speak to the ice, just like an animal. You must let it choose you before you can choose it. Hello, kindred spirit. Thank you for, oh, God damn it. <sighs> this one is a little tricky. <sighs> Jesus Christ. We gotta, we gotta hoist it. Oh, Jerry, no. I swear to God, I can get it. I swear to God, the network won't cancel my show if I don't get some good network. <laughs> oh my God, what you looking at? We've got it. Look how delicious this looks. Now watch this. Like a Terry's chocolate orange. You hit this from the top, and it's gonna break into a million scrumptious little niblets. 
Oh, just like a Terry Chalk orange. Look at the meninges of this baby. It breaks off into little meninges. You see that? You see the meninges? Jerry, did you get the meninges? Did you get the meninges? Jerry, did... Let's get some close-up sounds of that. Come close, Jerry. 